In the 70s, they were an elite unit with names like Brick, Champ, Brian, and Ron. They rose like the Phoenix, and then they were gone. Their legend became but a whisper, told by the trees, until now. The year is now 1980, and Ron Burgundy is facing a new threat, cable television. God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do, have salon quality hair and read the news. Anchorman 2, written by Will Ferrell and his returning director Adam McKay, strikes a few pointed blows against the current state of the media, says Rafer Guzman in his review. Some of the satire edges out Farrell's teammates, who gave the first film its air of unhinged lunacy. All come with clearly improved ad-libbing skills, but only during their drinking session in a driverless RV do they truly recapture their absurdist mojo. Christina Applegate, returning as Burgundy's competitor-turned-wife, Veronica Corningstone, remains a serviceable straight woman, though Kristen Wiig, as an addle-headed love interest for Brick, falls oddly flat. The outsized expectations for Anchorman 2 means that some disappointment is inevitable. The sequel may not produce any quotable lines, but to borrow one from the original, don't act like you're not impressed.